What's up everybody? My name is Isaac Huss and today we're going to go in depth on how to ask a woman out on a date. So there I was, a 23 year old man who had never done much in terms of intentional dating in my entire life. I'd been on a few dates of course, senior prom included, but honestly felt a little behind in the dating game. In particular, I was kind of hung up on the part where I actually ask a girl out on a date. I had no problem meeting people or having good conversations, but the part about asking a girl out, that kind of scared me. I wasn't sure how to do it. I wasn't sure how to feel confident in doing it. And that's not to mention the very real fear of rejection that I felt. That's when my buddy Mike helped me to demystify the whole thing. From my perspective, asking a woman out on a date was me professing my undying love to her. To say I wanted to have a bunch of babies, to say I wanted to live happily ever after. To Mike, it was, I want to continue this conversation in a more intentional way. Obviously, that comes with it a sense of exclusivity, even for an hour or two. A sense of romance. And yes, maybe even a hint of something more to come in the future. But Mike helped me to realize that the invitation itself doesn't need to be much more grandiose than, hey, do you want to meet for happy hour sometime soon? Particularly if you think this woman is already into you. And thinking about it that way helped me to realize it's really not that hard. Or at least doesn't need to be. A couple months ago, I released a video on here to help you get over your fears of rejection and a shorter video with some practical tips on how to ask a woman out on a date. Today, I want to go further in depth on how to ask a woman out, and in particular, to help demystify the process, improve your chances along the way, and to give you ultimately more confidence at the beginning of the dating game. Part of the genius of online dating is the fact that, by and large, all those people on that dating site along with you are also single and looking to date. Think about it. You meet an attractive woman at the farmer's market, your local parish, the bar downtown. You might have a perfectly good conversation and they seemingly are happy to have a conversation with you, only to find out later that they weren't single, they're not looking, or some combination of both. I've had that happen uh, enough times where I'll even try to go out of my way within the first five or 10 minutes or so to find out and even intentionally ask a woman if she's seeing anybody or not. It can actually be a win-win. If it turns out she's not single, that can actually save you some time, maybe even some hurt feelings, maybe even some cash. And if she is single, your uh, asking her that question can help you to signify your interest. On a dating site, on the other hand, you typically can skip that whole step. You can have a general confidence level, especially on Catholic Match, that all of those women on that site are single, looking, and potentially very interested in going on a date with you. It's for this reason that if I exchange more than just a few messages with someone on Catholic Match or another dating site, and they're responding with a level of regularity and swiftness, and if I can tell that there's a genuine enthusiasm on the other end of things, then the asking on the date part becomes more of just a formality and not an ask with some trepidation involved. Think about it. You walk into a coffee shop and there's someone behind the counter who smiles at you and says, how can I help you? You don't have to worry about how exactly to ask for a cup of coffee. In fact, any sort of combination of polite, intelligible words will typically do the trick. After all, it's what you're all there to do. That all said, if only every time you wanted to ask a girl out on a date, you knew that she wanted you to ask her out on a date. More often than not, you're probably going to have some level of uncertainty. So what do you do in those situations? Well, spoiler alert, I actually don't recommend that you ask a woman out on a date until you're pretty sure she's going to say yes. The one exception, of course, is if you don't think you're going to get another chance or that this would be your best chance to get a yes. Sure, you do miss 100% of the shots you don't take, but slam dunks and layups are objectively better shots than half-court heaves. Sometimes all you have time for is a prayer at the buzzer, 
Uh, but if you do have more time, I would recommend getting closer to the basket. So if you're not sure where someone's at, I would recommend seeing what you can do to build a rapport before you ask them out. Then hopefully through that process, you'll gather more data to be more confident when you do ask them out. And if nothing else, you can at least know that you did your due diligence and there's nothing more that you could have done. How do you build up that rapport? I've got one word for you, flirt. Compliment her, crack a few jokes, show some genuine interest in her life. Find out what makes her light up and ask her about that. Give her a reason to think that her life would be better with you in it. Give her a reason to spend some of her valuable time on a date with you. Finally, learn enough about her to be able to pitch a first date that she'll actually enjoy. And that shows that you made an effort to find out. For instance, I will very rarely ever turn down an opportunity to drink an expertly made cocktail at a trendy bar or an ice cold local draft beer on a nice patio. If a woman invites me to do one or the other, or anybody romantically or no, I'm inclined to say yes, and all the more if it's a place that I haven't tried yet or a place I've already decided I like. While preparing this video, I went to social media to go straight to the source and find out from women about their experiences about being asked out by men. My biggest takeaway, be intentional. Make it clear you want to go on a date. Some of the women even went so far as to say, use the word date and avoid ambiguous terms like hang out. If a date is what you want, make it clear that that's what you're communicating. More than one woman also recommended to don't delay from moving from that initial conversation to showing your intention to meet up in real life. Don't grow too comfortable on the app. In fact, most women would rather get off of those things. I can also say that that same intentionality and clarity in real life can help you to avoid some real misunderstandings, particularly if someone isn't sure they knew that you were interested in them romantically. Or if a woman's giving me mixed signals, sometimes it's not the end of the world to get a clear no, because then at least you get some clarity in the situation. I'd also recommend that you include some real specifics when you ask, including how soon you want to get together, the general time frame, and what you'd like to do on the date. If nothing else, it helps her plan ahead and set her own expectations. And in my experience, assertiveness and alacrity are both virtues that are near universal in their impressiveness and being well received overall in the dating world. You don't want to ever leave her wondering if the date is ever going to happen or if she's going to have to take on more responsibility in planning it or executing it. Then follow through with what you propose. And if heaven forbid you ever do have to reschedule, be forthcoming about that, maybe a little apologetic and proactive in making sure that it happens in the near future. As Brene Brown would say, clear is kind, unclear is unkind. On a very practical note, men need to realize that women really do have to have safety at the forefront of their minds when they're dating and especially when planning the first date, if not the first few dates. As such, adjust accordingly when planning a date for the first time. So for instance, I wouldn't want my sister to be picked up by some stranger from the internet, and so I probably shouldn't suggest that when I'm going on a first date either. And it goes beyond just being polite. When a woman feels safe, she can feel comfortable. And when she doesn't feel safe, well, you can kind of forget about it at that point. In fact, I wouldn't even joke about it. Certainly not before she knows if she can even trust you. So if you want the date to go well, heck, if you want the date to happen at all, I probably wouldn't recommend that you invite her to a remote hike, just the two of you, or have her go to an iffy part of the town late at night. Finally, keep it simple. Most women I've met value authenticity. In other words, they want to know that you're genuinely interested in them. So even if you were to land the perfect pickup line, and good luck with that, uh, she might still be tempted to wonder if she can trust you and your shtick. Don't overthink it, don't overdo it, and definitely don't include any insults. And frankly, when a man resorts to gimmicks, that actually suggests to me that he doesn't have confidence in what he actually has to offer. In fact, 
Maybe he doesn't even think he's capable or worthy of going on a first date with this person. And to me, that's just admitting defeat even before the whole thing starts. Instead, be yourself and be confident in that. So, in conclusion, focus on the following things when asking a woman out for the first time. Number one, don't overthink it. Number two, build a rapport. Number three, be intentional. Number four, safety first. And number five, be yourself. All right, that's all I got for you today. But again, this is only meant to be the very beginning of this conversation. Did you agree with my points or disagree? I want to hear all about it. What advice would you give to a friend or family member uh, if he wanted to ask his crush out for the very first time and maybe didn't know how? What has worked well for you when asking somebody out? Or what's an approach that impressed you? Was there ever somebody who you were on a fence about who the way that they approached asking you out on a date uh, helped win you over or maybe turned you off all together? That's what the comment section below is for. Let me know how you thought of this video, but also any future topics you'd like us to cover. Finally, if you like this video, please give it a like and make sure that you subscribe to our channel here so you don't miss any videos in the future. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you all again very soon.